Welcome to the show, folks. Let's begin, as always, with the latest COVID-19 cases as of today. This Super Bowl Sunday. Ah, there we go. We're now to 36,203, 5,233, 42 new cases, 43, one new case, state health, state cases, two new deaths, which makes it 670, recovered, 32,985, ICU, 49, currently in hospital, 148, hospitalized, 50, 60. And, uh, basically, if you're going to get the vaccine, I mean, if you're tested positive with a virus, you need to get that vaccine. Yes, you should. And always, follow the necessary precautions. If you got the virus, you need to stay quarantined. If you, I mean, if you're, if you got COVID symptoms, you need to stay home, especially in school. If you're in school and experiencing COVID symptoms, you need to notify your school nurse immediately. Let your teacher know that you need to go to the nurse. Let the nurse know you have COVID symptoms. And then they'll be ordered you to stay home for minimum like days. If you're sick, you need to go home. Same way at work. You need to let them know that you have, that you're not feeling too well. If you have the virus, you need to stay home for minimum 14 days. Maybe not, may not be a vacation, but it's a sick day. As always, when you're going out anywhere, you need to wear a mask. Period. There's no excuses. Restaurants, grocery stores, workplaces, you, they, were, they mandate that you wear masks every day when you're going shopping. If you're going shopping, you need to wear a mask every day. I cannot stress that enough. You need to wear a mask. Start wearing masks every day. Don't listen to those anti-maskers, otherwise you might be like them and end up arrested. School. And at churches, don't be listening to them. Just wear your mask. Get one of those like 3D maskers masks to where you can where you can sing. Those need to be mandated. Those need to be at the store. And trust me, SD knows what they're doing. They the sellers at SD say they their product works. Their product works perfect. It really helps when you're singing or talking, even when you're going out jogging. And even though Governor Greg Abbott said that churches accept accept people who are not wearing masks because you're singing and stuff, all that stuff, I still think it needs to be put on put on the market. If you haven't got it, you need to go get one on SD.com. Look it up. Look up 3D masks. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Trust me. You'll know what I'm talking about. Social distancing. Again, it's the same thing. You need to get yourself those social distancing alarms. That will, that will really much help you. If you're not six feet, you need to back up six feet. Get those rulers, those measuring tapes. Those help out a lot. The stickers can help, but they don't. They don't look at the stickers. 
They don't follow those rules. And now, the, and now, like I said the other day, the RTA is now making more sit six sit six feet. Sit within six feet. I mean, those things should not have been on. I mean, if it was an idea provided by the RTA, then the RTA has a good idea. I mean, they know what they're doing there. Sorry, they're experts. You know time you, and uh, wash your hands often, at least 20 seconds. And my work, where I work at, if you work in a restaurant, you're required to wash your hands every hour. <clears throat> time o'clock in, you wash your hands. Next hour comes, you wash your hands. Next time you wash your hands. Minimum of 20 seconds every day. No excuses. After you eat, and after you come out of the bathroom. Play with your hair, you wash your hands. You touch your mask, you wash your hands. And masks have to be at the nose. Not down here or down there. It has to be at the bridge of the nose to where the glasses is. And if you have any trouble, if, you have, if your glasses are fogging up, get used to it. Or find masks that will not fog up your glasses. <coughs> Lastly, if you have a medical condition or you're under eight, if you have a medical condition or you're under eight years old, under the age of 10, you cannot be wearing them. Asthma, when you're in time of medical condition, just look at what the CDC put out, and they'll tell you. Next, on our Super Bowl Sunday special, a look at a viral, viral thing that's been happening years ago from Jimmy Kimball. A YouTube challenge called, Hey Jimmy Kimball, I unplugged the TV during the Super Bowl game. We're going to look at that, as well as some reactions from other people in these viral videos, when we return. Now, uh, as you know, the Super Bowl will be happening, and uh, lots of things are happening. Viral videos are going out about people's reaction. And uh, about close to ten years ago, there was a thing for the Super Bowl. There were Jimmy Kimmel did, hey, did his YouTube challenge called, Hey Jimmy Kimmel, I'm Plenty TV Dirty Game. So we're gonna look at, so we're gonna look at some, we're gonna look at some of the some of the final reactions to what happened, and see if you can spot these reactions. Take a look. Take a look. some more.
the best of the best, let the unplugging begin. Oh, wow. He finds the play, and he runs down Danny Woodhead. That's it. Mark the wide player that young man did. He's losing to the game from China. Oh, he's got the ball. Oh, he's got the ball. 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 He's
sorry. I'm sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Turn it off, you crazy. No. What in the heck are you doing over there? Can you just not touch him? What are you doing? You have to have your hands on the table. On the I'm not giving the hand on the table. Then how is it being unplugged? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you just do there? Imagine watching the Super Bowl with your girlfriend at your girlfriend's house. <laughs> to the viewers out there who did that challenge almost 10 years ago. Now, how was the virus doing? Now, how does the virus keep on spreading? Well, a couple of days ago, I told you some tips about how to keep you, how to keep your, how to keep uh, yourself safe and all the others around you safe by going outside and having the party. Mostly, not if you took my advice. But one comment said that uh, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I'm not saying you should watch the Super Bowl. I'm not saying you should watch Super Bowl. All I'm saying is, I'm saying is you can watch those. You can watch the Super Bowl, but there are safety precautions that you have to do in order to do that. And when we return in Florida, when we return, we're going to look at how bars here in here in Corpus Christi have surfaced. Have decided to reopen. Have decided to open up during, during, during the Super Bowl, and uh, and no one seems to get the message. What did that mean to all bars out there? We look at that when we return. Look, you guys. A couple days ago, I gave you guys some tips on how to, on how to do a Super Bowl party social distancely. <laughs> social distancely. Let me, put, let me rephrase that. What I did was gave you some safety tips to keep you and your loved ones safe during this time when you're having the Super Bowl party. Now, I'm going to stress this out. I did not. I did not say not to watch Super Bowl. All I said was, I'm, these, I'm giving you tips so that when, you, when next year's Super Bowl happens, you can revise these tips and say to yourself, you know what, next year, I'm going to have a safe Super Bowl. That's not an exception for bars. I mean, if you look at Florida, all the bars are open. But how did that affect here in the coastal bed? Here's the latest from Chris 6 News. Although restaurants and bars had their doors wide open tonight, many residents I spoke with told me this year they made the conscious decision to downsize their Super Bowl plans. Kansas City, the old man Brady, probably going to pull it out. Whether you were pulling for Tampa Bay, or the Chiefs. You can rest assured that South Texans were watching, but with recommendations from the CDC to avoid large gatherings, many people here 
didn't need that warning. Absolutely. No warning. This year. this year it'll just be uh, myself, the kids, and uh, he's having a couple of friends over. Pretty much a small get together between me and my fiance. We're just going to just go home, watch the game, get out of wings. But one resident I spoke with had different plans. When your friends on the face, you support your friends. Patrons like Chris instead thankful that he's able to have a slight sense of normalcy at a restaurant, even if there are some changes. I mean, it's, it's got to happen because of the time we're in now. But um, to be able to do that on the Super Bowl Sunday and just make it work, that's what we're trying to do. All so the community as a whole might be able to resume those parties in the future without worry. I myself, I consider myself an elderly also. So I, I need to uh, also take care of myself. That's the main, the, the main reason that I continue wearing the mask. I also reached out to the local health authority to see if they expect an increase in the amount of positive COVID-19 cases in the coming weeks. I did not hear back. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Trevor Gonzalez for Six News. Now, we also had a poll out asking you if you had made any changes yourself in your Super Bowl party. As you can see, many ended up just keeping it within their households. And exactly. Keep it at the household and uh, try to make sure you know what you're doing so that this doesn't happen again. I do not want to be talking about this next year. I hope that uh, when next year arrives, next Super Bowl arrives, you take these tips very seriously and you, and when this virus ends, we can go back to normal. But until then, with this virus happening, the numbers are rising, you need to make sure that you know what you're doing and if you're having a party, keep it low. Don't be inviting a lot of friends over because that's a super splitter for the virus. I'll be back in a moment. Now, we are just 48 hours away from the impeachment trial that's going to be happening tomorrow. And now tonight, we're going to take a close look into this. As Here's the latest from ABC News. Tonight, with just 48 hours until the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump's new video emerging showing rioters celebrating in the moments after they stormed the Capitol. Donald Trump is still our president. The man in the horns and face paint is Jacob Chansley. His attorney says he believes he was listening to Trump. And an ABC News investigation has found at least a dozen other rioters charged have said the same. And that's exactly what House impeachment managers plan to argue. Saying on January 6th, Trump whipped the crowd into a frenzy and aimed them like a loaded cannon down Pennsylvania Avenue. If you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. The president was taking steps to make it worse, not better. The former president's lawyers argue he was exercising his First Amendment rights and did not incite the riot. And most Republicans in the Senate have signaled they will vote to acquit Trump. The outcome is really not in doubt. That doesn't mean what happened on January the 6th was okay. It means this impeachment in the eyes of most Republicans is an unconstitutional exercise. The number three Republican in the House, Liz Cheney, urging senators in her party to listen to the evidence before making up their minds. I obviously believe and, and did then that what we already know is enough for his impeachment. This is not something that we can simply look past or pretend didn't happen or, or try to move on. We've got to make sure this never happens again. And both sides do agree on one thing. They want this trial to be over with quickly. Democrats want to press forward President Joe Biden's agenda. That includes that $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. And they say they'll do it with or without Republican support, Lindsay. Democrats still hopeful that that bill can receive some bipartisan support. Rachel, our thanks to you. Agreed. So when that time comes, we'll figure out whether the president, former President Trump was, was within his rights or went out within his rights. As they said, he was in within his First Amendment rights. So what do I think is to happen? Well, I'm going to hold that off until tomorrow was Give Me a Break. But in the meantime, that's all for this special edition of Give Me a Break Sunday. We'll see you again tomorrow for Give Me a Break Monday with the very latest on the impeachment trial. Have a good night, everyone. Take care of yourself and each other. Good night.